Hello, audience. Do you want the moon? Because I'm going to lasso the temple of the moon for you. On on Instant Replay, on Instant Replay Live, right? Nick? That's the name of this show. Yeah, we've already done what, that joke. What are you going to do with... We're always going to do the same jokes. <laughs> what are you, you going to do with the moon once you've lassoed it? I'm going st- to stick it in our viewers' mouths. <laughs> <laughs> when you say that, that's so creepy. Yeah, the, Why the would voice. You say I'm gonna put it no, right in the viewer's mouth. Moonbeams are gonna come out. Show of there. me his plight. I'm jumping into the dialogue oh. so you will stop. Oh, it's a cutscene. The moonbeams are gonna pour out of their nose. Oh, their it's a eyes. cutscene we have to read. Bathe me in your moonbeams. Your grace, the dam is torn asunder. The farm's all under the current. The water rises by the minute. Bitches be flooding. Please advise me, your humble servant. The king just doesn't care. He's 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 distraught. Oh, Nora. Father is dying. The dam has burst. Floodwaters are rising. We are nearly home. There, there. No crying. What a good big sister. <laughs> Especially oh my voice. goodness. By the way, Nick got me this excellent shirt in real life. <laughs> a great gift. I have never received a better gift. It's a shirt that says, World's Okayest Sister. Yeah. And let me tell you, name of the episode Those right there. I feel so proud. To be the world's okayest sister. Aww, how sweet. Anyways. I was I was hoping you would have hated it. Oh god, no, it was exactly. <laughs> no, I knew you would. Rachel was like, what if he's like insulted? I was like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he will not be. Um last episode. We ended talking about your near death experiences in the car. I've had a couple of those too, actually. One of my most vivid memories is one I'm where very... Oh, oh. Thank goodness we are here at last. Aurora, it is time to say goodbye. Be fast. Oh, this is actually a pretty intense moment. <laughs> Alright, before we say goodbye to these folks, let's let's float around and see if there's any secrets or anything. Sure. Um, one of my most intense memories, this like near-death experience, was um, some dude just randomly like spun out of control and was um, coming right at us. And mom was driving. I must have been, I don't know, 14. I'm just going to throw a number out there. 13, maybe. Um, And uh, I distinctly remember everything kind of going slow motion. And having uh, this, this moment of clarity like, I might die now. I better be aware of my surroundings. <laughs> like, take it all in. This might be the last thing I'll ever remember. Mm. And I and mom pulled away from this guy who spun out of control. She was running us off to the ditch for safety. And there was another car. And I remember him having to pull to, to avoid as well. Um, and just by, by sheer chance, like, our vehicle ended up pointed directly at his vehicle. And he was eating a McDonald's french fry. Like, he had the McDonald's, like, red, distinct, you know, fry cup in hand. Golden arches gleaming. And, and a fry... Um, like hanging out of his mouth because he was in complete terror and shock at the situation. And that could have been the last thing I would have seen in my <laughs> life had we gotten into a terrible car accident. And I just took it all in, and that image will stick with me forever. Jesus, I want to die in a McDonald's. That's the way I want to <laughs> It go. wasn't in a McDonald's. I know, I know, but it's just like, it gives me the inspiration, you know, like, Jeez. please fill me with Big Mac as I die. Oh, I hate, I hate Big Macs, actually. I can't even finish that thought. Yeah. Like, I, I can't stand McDonald's. We are not trying to do McDonald's sponsors. I love we McDonald's not, fries. not huge fans of overall McDonald's. Um, so the other thing I was going to bring up from the last episode was driving my car while I was asleep. But mm-hmm. before that, do we want to click through these? This is about to be a huge story segment that I think we're actually going to want to... You're going to want to experience. Yeah. So... So, after? After. Yeah. Good fortune, enterprising Robert. My venture has gone burst. Margaret, burst. adieu. Bust. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop being ridiculous, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> I would invest in you. Robert has left the party. That's sad. Take care, Gruffy. <laughs> Wait, that's that's you. That's you. You're reading this. What take, am I reading? Why am I talking Take care, Gruffin. You're leaving us. What to do? I'm afraid. And you're making fun of me for missing things. <laughs> I must go home to my family. It's as simple as that. We must all learn to be brave. Fiend has left the party. 
Oops, jump up in Rubella's face there for a moment. Farewell, fierce Rubella. Smack in the middle of our adventure. Oh, that's, really? That's, 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 really? You're, you're leaving just like that. Tumble on without me. Make it even better. Oh, man. I got confused with Nora and Rubella. Mm-hmm. Nora, that voice I don't even do. Melancholy Tristus, do not cry. Abandoned once more, not a surprise. We are all... <laughs> we all are. <laughs> In the end. Doesn't even it, matter how hard you it try. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. <laughs> Keep that in mind, I designed this rhyme. In the end, I got so hard. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is to remain happy while we are alive. Do not fear. I live to fight against the dark. And make the future slightly less stark. Ah. All right. Tristus has left the party. You know what we didn't do, though? Forgot to go into our skills. Which, it looks like it really has just left us with Nora and Tristus. Should we go bottom track or upper track? I would go... Um, it's up to you, actually. I'm not going to... Bottom you track. You started the bottom track, didn't you? Oh, oh maybe, maybe I have. Well, now we're doing it for sure. And then Crazies. Nora... Yeah, this one? Sure, why not? Okay, cool. Do we want to mess with our oculi? I would just keep going. Ooh, all right, sure, why not? I mean, it's got that giant water one that we kind of agreed was not so useful. If only we could combine another thing with it. We don't have enough for that. Ah, whatever. That's, screw it. If it's a bad decision, it's a bad decision. We're moving on. Oh, Aurora, search the sky. Because I don't want... I don't... Because I don't see... I don't, I don't see the highest of the high. Igniculus, goodbye. <laughs> Son of a bitch! No emotional connection. I will miss you! I actually do love Igniculus. That name is fantastic. Really and is. what an incredibly useful character. Oh. Am I going to get into a fight without Igniculus? I'm not going to say. I don't want... What? I don't want that. Player 2 has left the game. Oh. And you can't open this. Pretty art, though. God, it's good. Art's pretty, though. Oh, is there a box? Might as well open it. Firefly elixir. That's oh, useless. That's sad. <laughs> that's useless. Um, okay, so <clears throat> there was a time that I may have talked about on the show before where I, I, I am a person who sleepwalks from time to time in my life, and I totally... Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll never finish this story. I totally was sleepwalking and fell asleep while driving and drove for like what was probably 10 solid minutes while asleep. Mm. And do you remember this story now, Joe? Yeah, I do, I, I do. Told, yeah. Yeah. Somehow I didn't die. I drove like 45 the entire way, apparently, and just woke up doing 45 and a 25 approaching a, a stoplight, and it was the most terrifying experience of my life. Mm. That's the super fast version. Let's get into some reading. You are so good-hearted and charitable, Aurora, but some people are different from you. And no matter what you say or do, nothing will ever get through. I'm getting all choked up. <laughs> do not waste your time explaining. Life is too short to be so accommodating. We no longer have to roam. Aurora, go on through. This is the magic mirror home. I shall follow you. Well, something's obviously going to go wrong. Mm. <laughs> So this is actually, I'm really stoked. This is like part of the game that I've been really excited to get to because shit's about to go crazy. Hmm. The hype is real. Because we're getting into the real world with our powers and stuff? Or uh, what? You'll see. Oh. Nora, where are we? Follow me. I can still fly. Okay, that's good to know. Whoop. Stepmother, Cordelia, fair sister... Ooh. Aurora, what a surprise. Where am I? Where is father? Resting his eyes. Hold her. Ooh, that snarl. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Family first, now and forever? I am sorry, Aurora. We are not together. It's a hard line to deliver when I'm shocked like this. <laughs> yeah, right? I never expected Nora to turn on me. Sister, Nora. 
Knox is my real name. <laughs> I would love if Nora's real name, I mean, the, the real Nora, apparently, assuming this is some kind of body double, like, had a completely normal voice in our, our fictionalized world. Mm. <laughs> and she just didn't notice. <laughs> you I admire, but you are not family. Through my blood, I am royalty. And I am Umbra, the queen. That lowly marriage to your father was a fantasy. This is blasphemy. Rude creature, I will stop the breath in your throat. And your, for your father, such agony. Those arms you cling to bone shall be. Woo. That is what comes of a weak family. I am the rightful ruler of Lemuria. You are my enemy's daughter. Jeez. What has my father done? Who? That old squatter? You do not know? Your mother banished mine from Lemuria long ago. My mother? She hadn't that power. Cordelia. Who's, who's getting this one? You go for it. All right. That witch! We laid her low. Ha! The fallen queen of Lemuria was my foe. And therefore you, her daughter, have to go. Hmm. Well, later. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah! Check out my shield powers, apparently. <laughs> You've had that forever. Uh, what? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> what? A protection spell? Oh, right. I'm Nox still. <laughs> In her false crown it lies. God, to the tower with her until she dies. In the meantime, her torture I advise. Look at that little laugh you've got going on. <laughs> <laughs> if that was just her laugh. If she actually laughed like that just uncontrollably. Right. Come on, game. Give us something. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Look at the beautiful sky. Mama, I wish I could fly. In some parts of the world, people do. Where? I never knew. You will go someday when you are ready. I just want to stay with you and father. And we with you. But there is more to life, plenty. For instance, perhaps one day you shall be a queen. Who must sojourn with her subjects? Wow, what foreboding. I shall send them post from our castle unseen. That's just great setup for the future of this game, you know? For the future of Aurora's life. She's journey journeying with her subjects. Mm -hmm. The thing we already did. <laughs> yes, that's good for foreshadowing, foreboding. Foreshadowing, that... yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you're going at. but So I was just asked to catch a firefly. You didn't catch that line. but Oh. Um, <laughs> Mama, Mama, come see. More lines, Joe. Right oh. here, past the old apple tree. She asked where Aurora, Aurora was. Where are you? <laughs> where are you, Aurora? Um, I guess I'll go back. Mama, you're gone. Oh, no. I am tired, Aurora. Let me help you. My heart. Oh, my heart. Mama, stop. You're turning blue. No. This evil will come after you. There is only one thing I can do. Playing women is hard. Uh, I'm not very good at it. Uh, fine. <laughs> <clears throat> this sounds like you, though. Guardians of Lemuria, hear my plea. Protect my daughter from the hand that poisoned me. If mortal harm befall her, bring her to your altar. Ah. Uh -huh. mm. That brings a lot together. The spell I cast upon my death and seal it with my final breath. So stepmother poisoned her, and uh, and a predetermined spell many years ago brought us to that land. That's pretty good. And gave us some furry wings. Papa, please help some me. Some furry wings? Gross. Yes. <laughs> Mama, hear my plea. Come back to me. Come back. You wanna you wanna play your song again? <laughs> Don't do it. Do it. <laughs> no, we're good. Yeah, this is more. We're like getting a... so much plot in this episode. Yeah. 
We're running way late on it, too, but I don't want to cut it for the plot either, so we'll just have to end with... Uh, with Yo, a drop it to Mad Plot. That song, I Know the Melody. <laughs> That's how you should talk the whole time. <laughs> if he says anything else, keep him going. I heard it played by my lady, the Queen of Light. You are her child who fights the dark. You will stop the fiendish night. How can I? A little girl who has lost her way? I simply want to go home. Yo, coward. Is that what you and mother would say? Your mother? <laughs> if she were alive today. <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave your castle to face the world on your own. For what it truly is to find your real home. You dig? If I aid you, swear to me, you will go, you will the darkness fight. To save our land and our people, our light. I swear it. Now be strong. Get ready for the battle. I will free you from your shackle. Guard is the coolest character. In this Actually, game. he is my favorite character. He's pretty sweet. Um, th- this dude is so cool. Wait till you see his design. It is glorious. Well, he probably looks just like one of the other ones, right? The one that we saw. Yeah. Or well, I, I guess, guess did, maybe yeah. he was the same one. I don't know if there's yeah. multiples of his kind. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think maybe now we can yeah. say next time we'll see Oingus in action. In some mad child of light action, bringing it to your next level. Womp. If we ever get to it next time, because I'm now going to betray my brother and realize I've been Nox this whole time. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even recognize you with the accent. <laughs> We'll see you next time on Instant Replay Live. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?